What's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a UI challenge guys in this video let's see how to design the screen on the left side uh, I mainly selected the screen since there are a lot of fancy components that I feel would be I mean uh, that you would be using in your application so I thought I'll show you guys how to do the screen today uh, let's apply the 1369 rule to the screen let's just break it down to three guys okay uh, this will be the first component this will be the first part the app bar this entire thing we can take it as the second part and the grid section we can take it as the third part okay so we'll start with this the first thing uh, i have already created a, a, a new blank application and uh, inside an assets directory i have some seven images food images all of these are food images and a uh, few fonts okay and i've added these images and the fonts in the uh, pubspec.yaml file as well as you can see here so let's just jump into uh, what we are going to do here first section is the app bar just like I said now so uh, uh, app bar. inside the app bar I can simply give elevation first I'll make it as zero and uh, background color colors dot transparent fine and uh, uh, leading icon if I make this as transparent then obviously whatever I write on the app bar or the back button on the app bar nothing will be visible okay leading uh, besides I don't need the regular back button right I need a iOS type arrow uh, the back arrow so leading icon button uh, Done, then fine quality right and then uh, uh, magnifying glass at the end probably for search so actions uh, once again, I can, I'll copy this icon button. Instead of back iOS, I'll give search. Fine. And instead of black, I'll give gray. So uh, the first part is now over. The app bar is now over. Let's start with the C. Uh, let's start with the second part that is we need a uh, stack on the left side so that we can place an image on that and a uh, text here and then we need three buttons on the right side right so i'll start with the body body list view Uh, children column uh, container container padding edge insets dot all uh, some 10.0 okay and uh, height 250.0 uh, child row sorry I give main axis spacing main axis alignment main axis alignment not space evenly then it will create like an even space between these two I am creating a row guys in the row the first child would be the stack and the second child would be uh, a column containing these three buttons okay that's exactly what I'm doing here inside the children what I'll do is uh, 
column stack uh, height two thirty point zero uh, with media query dot of context dot size dot with minus media query dot of context dot 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 size dot with divided by three you see what i did here if i just give a fixed value for width then obviously whenever you use a device with a larger screen the width will be too much on the right side right the white spacing would be too much on the right side so what i did was i got the width of the screen and then subtracted one third of the width of the screen that means that this entire stack will occupy two thirds of the width of any screen whatever the screen size may be it will be occupying two thirds of the width of that screen uh, and decoration box decoration box decoration border radius this is as usual guys you might already know this from my previous videos uh, I'm just giving a rounded edge to this particular image. That's it. Nothing fancy in this. Alright, now I have the image. Now I have finished this part. I have the image and this will occupy two thirds of the uh, screen width. And since we have given space evenly and obviously we are given padding all around padding as you can see here. Uh, you will see that at the end of this video you will see this entire uh, UI right. It will look really cool. Now I need some white color text on that particular image. That's it right. So after this container, what I'll do is I'll introduce a positioned widget. Positioned. Uh, I'll just give left. Where is it exactly? Somewhere. Left and okay. Left, I'll just give a small value, fifteen point zero. And uh, top, I'll this is two thirty, right? So I'll just give hundred point zero. Okay, so it will be somewhat uh, below, just below the center, two thirty. Center would be 115, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, 230, half of that will be 115, right? So if I just want it just below the center, I'll give 130. Okay. Uh, this is done. Child column. Uh, I need to give cross axis alignment at start otherwise it won't align itself to the left guys okay cross axis alignment dot start children uh, text what was the text chocolate cream we'll just add honey bread honey bread uh, and add a style Obviously, you guys know how to add a text a text style by now. Uh, if you are a regular watcher of my videos, fine. Uh, now what we'll do is we need one more text below that particular text that says dollar eighty eight, and here there is a text that has been stricken out. Right? We'll ignore this. We'll just add this particular uh, text. Okay. So in order to do that, I'll just get into my code editor. 
and after this text we will copy this and instead of honey bread I just need to give uh, what was that dollar id dollar I can't without a backslash I can't this is a forward slash I guess 88 and font size I'll just reduce it a little bit and uh, I'll remove this bold all right now what we have done is I have created this entire image I have given the text here and I have given the rate here as well now I just need to uh, place these three buttons to the uh, right side and then space them evenly as well so I just need to give use column even spacing I think oh sorry I can get out of this column now I can get out of the stack altogether and after this column this column is nothing but this first section of the row this is entire thing is a row okay this entire thing is a row this is the first section of that first child of that row that is this column okay and uh, in the second child we'll just add now the second child would be i'll add a sized box first sized box with uh, some 5.0 anyway we are specifying space evenly right so sized box doesn't matter i'm just adding it for an extra edge so column uh, uh, main axis alignment main axis sorry main axis alignment dot space only you know uh, you understand why i'm adding this here right since these the spacing between these three should be even and there should also be a little spacing at the top and bottom as well right so that's the reason why i'm using space evenly uh, children uh, material The reason I am using material is there is some small box shadow effect around these three square buttons, right? That's the reason why I am using a material since I can specify a elevation. So material uh, border radius border radius dot circular uh, seven point two. There's a small right around is not that much prominent. Okay, seven point zero elevation uh, i'll just give a small value once again 2.0 and uh, child container uh, inside this i'll give height 60.2 uh, with 60.2 and uh, uh, decoration box decoration uh border radius border radius dot circular 7.0 and uh, i'll specify child for this container child will be the one that's actually containing this heart heart icon and the count so child would be a uh, column uh, main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space evenly once again and uh, children widget icon icon start favorite and uh, uh, color color start red cool the next thing we need to do is just give text what was the text 368 right fine i specified this text 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 as well now uh, okay now that we have this thing ready we can simply copy and paste for these two and just change the icons for this and account for these right i'll just do it in a second guys fine now you can see that i have added two more material widgets this time the icons is chat bubble and i changed the count to 76 for this here it's the icon is icon sort arrow for i can't get this icon guys 
is like a uh, forward I icon so I just use a arrow forward and then I change the count to 18 as well now we have three buttons right three small buttons that will any uh, that uh, that will be present on the right side and spaced evenly with respect to each other as well as with respect to uh, the first element in the row now this second part is done let's do uh, should we run this on a device and see how it looks or shall we just proceed on to we'll just proceed on to the third section as well okay uh, third section is okay this is just a text and then we have this grid we'll finish off the text first all right the text is done the commodity text is done uh, now let's move on to the grid for the grid we'll just do a grid view dot count uh, cross axis count two since there are going to be two tiles right two and uh, primary will be false since we need the list view to be the primary uh, cross axis spacing will be some 10.0 and uh, child this is the important thing guys child aspect ratio if you just uh, the one will be the default one 1.0 will be the default one uh, this is the card that you saw in uh, the talent higher screen if you add it as 2.0 the card will become even smaller 3.0 even smaller than that so what i'll do is i'll add something like uh, mm, 0.85 so the card will be a little bit bigger you will understand this uh, in a better way when you actually see it on a device guys just uh, hold on till the end of this video or you can just seek to the end of the video <laughs> that doesn't matter anyway uh, let's move on with the video main uh, axis spacing this again will be 10.0 and uh, shrink wrap true uh, children this is where i'm going to be building the cards so i'll just uh, build this in a separate function maybe widget uh, build sorry build food food card okay and inside this i'll be getting some details that i'll be using string what are the details that i need to get name of the food where it's from like count comments count image that's it uh, string name string origin sorry string oh sorry origin string card image int likes int comment sorry int comment count and uh, int card index why did i get the card index i will show it to you uh, in a second uh, so we have all these fields and then we will we'll do a padding if the card index dot is even if it's even then i'll obviously need to give it a right padding if it's odd then i need to give it a left padding why didn't i just give it as common then it will interfere with the cross axis spacing which means that the spacing here will be too much right uh, so i mean this is a single card we are building a single card right we can't specify left and right padding for this card if we do that the left padding will be perfect but for the right padding it will include also the left padding of this card so the padding will be double right and it will also interfere with the cross axis spacing that we specified this is the main axis spacing this is the cross axis spacing that we specified here right and uh, here we specified right it will also interfere with that whereas if i want to design this card the right axis right padding will be perfect but the left padding will simply add on to the cross axis spacing as well as the right padding of the previous card so uh, i am just checking whether the card index is even if it's even i will just add the right padding alone which means that this is the second card right uh, 15.0 if it's not then i'll do edge insets edge insets start only uh, left 15.0 fine cool right uh, child container 
height 400.0 and decoration this height doesn't matter even if the height is too much the card will be built based only on the aspect ratio okay if the aspect ratio is 1 and even if you specify the height as 500 the container would be contained within that card you get it right uh, even if you didn't understand I, I think I might have convinced anyway forget that forget what I said just now decoration box decoration um, border radius this is for circular guys border radius dot circular I wish I could connect my device parallel in parallel and show everything to you guys but I can't obviously do that since uh, if I connect my device and start recording using ADB uh, screen record or something uh, this VS code editor will start fighting for control over the device uh, and it won't allow it any other uh, program to record the screen on the device that's the reason why I'm not uh, you know like showing you the, de the device screen in parallel with the uh, probably I should get a screen recorder right that would be a better option I should get a screen recorder app and then uh, anyway let's move on with the <laughs> code guys I am simply uh, 10.0 border radius to check 10.0 okay uh, border border dot all color colors dot gray with opacity uh, 0.2 so that the border won't be noticeable but it will be very very small so that it looks like a shadow okay i am just faking a shadow that's it okay style box border style sorry border style dot solid okay width will be i'll just give a very narrow width fine uh, this border is actually the border around the card okay otherwise this we can see specifically since due to the image presence of the image whereas this border won't be visible that is we can't see where the card is ending right that's the reason why i'm using this since i'm using a container for a card instead of using a card widget directly i'm just you're going to use a container uh, and make it look like a card okay uh, with 1.0 uh, some might ask me why I didn't simply use a card uh, obviously I could have used a, used a card but I decided to try this out like this and then you know started working I, I, and it worked so obviously child uh, stack uh, children column cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start fine uh, children you understand why I am doing this right I am going to be building this particular card so this card contains a stack on which there is an image and inside that there is some below that there is some image info and a fab button here I need to uh, do all those three right so I created a stack uh, and then inside that stack I am having an image uh, column in which I'm going to place that image first so container height would be some height whatever oh so container container height would be some 125.0 and uh, decoration box decoration what's happening box decoration uh, border radius border radius dot circular no, not circular border radius dot the border radius we should specify only top right and top left right I mean top right and top left we couldn't specify it here since this uh, two edges are sharp so border radius dot only uh, top left border dot circular border sorry not border radius dot circular uh, 10.0 similarly top right radius dot circular 10.0 cool uh, now I can simply do a color no color is not needed image decoration image 
image asset image card image fine and uh, i'll add a fit as well fit box fit top cover cool and uh, the next thing is after the image i need a small uh, information section and in that information section i'm also displaying the uh, likes count and the comments count and then i needed a fab button on top of it right so what i'll do is i'll do the information section first information section is nothing but a set of text guys so i'll just skip this part okay i'll just uh, cut the video here finish this off and then resume the video uh, i have simply added a text here the name of the food uh, and then the origin where the food is from and uh, uh i also added a row which contains an icon the favorite icon here and then there is a small like count i added that here as well like start to string and then i added a chat bubble that's also here and then i used an opacity so that it looks faded out and i added a common count dots to string which is nothing but the count here now all we need to do is this fab button let's go ahead and do that as well so for that fab button what i'll do is i'll get out of the column inside the stack i'll just use a position widget once again positioned positioned uh left one ten maybe and uh top not two what's the actual size of this uh the image was 125 right image was 125 so 115 would be 110 would be from the left and uh, 102 will have i just need it should be over half the half of the button should be in the image and half should be out of it right we'll just go with this and see if if it's not perfect we'll just adjust it okay child uh, container uh, height 40.0 uh, with 40.0 uh, decoration box decoration border radius border radius dot circular uh, 20.0 and uh, color color start amber was it amber or some orange i thought it's amber and i have a shopping cart icon inside that right so uh, i can simply play this is a container right i can simply uh, place that inside the child of that container child would be center child uh, what is it icon 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 start shopping cart color color start white it was white right yeah it's white fine now we have the fab button here as well now we have made the overall screen the only thing we need to do is we need to call this build food card somewhere inside the uh, here we'll call it okay build food card name would be uh, raspberry raspberry origin would be italy sorry card image would be assets image one dot jpg likes would be 64 comment count would be 22 card index would be 1 copy this paste it paste it paste it fine this is 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, this is once again two three five six seven 
I didn't use 4 since we already used 4 for this image, right? And uh, then we'll change these as well. Do we have any mouse? Okay, now let's run this app on a device and see whatever, I mean, I'll see, I will see the fruit of our work, the fruit of our hard labor. All right, let's see how this looks on our device, guys. Wow, it looks really good, right? Nice. We have these three buttons here, but the spacing between these buttons is, maybe if we had increased the space, overall space of this entire column, then uh, I believe, anyway, uh, it looks really good. And the cards, cards is the highlight here. It's wonderful, guys. If you look at it on an actual mobile device, the fab button, it's placed neatly and the title and the uh, like count and the comment count and all that. Uh, and the title and subtitle. Wow, it's really good, guys. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, in this video, we built this entire UI from scratch and it looks really awesome on a mobile device. I don't know if it looks as good on the uh, video as well since I am recording the screen separately and then uh, while editing, I am just going to uh, overlay the screen on top. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you guys today. If you really like this video, kindly hit, let me know in the uh, comment section guys because this designer, my sky has made, a, this is like a series of screens. He has made a couple of other screens uh, as well uh, regarding to the same design concept. And those look awesome as well, as you can see here. See, it looks really good, right? These two screens go hand in hand with this uh, screen that we were designing so far. And he also has some other screens that, wow. Okay, if you uh, really like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments whether you would like me to uh, do these screens as well, design these screens as well. Uh, anyway, hit the thumbs up button guys. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notifications icon so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And uh, uh, so yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.